Okay, so this is my final Design 3 project. It uh, was for scale, and I wanted to emphasize the uh, wind power juxtaposed to the Earth, which is in a large gyroscope. If I can get this thing to work. Unfortunately, there's no wind and there hasn't been. It's just been a lot of rain, which uh, has actually started deteriorating my globe, which is just terrible. And, uh, but, whatever, that's art. This thing is probably about nine and a half feet tall. And the way it works is these anemometers made by the salad bowls here and these bowls would be pushed by the wind therefore making it spin and this small fin here is for the uh, horizontal movement of the mid middle ring you see as it's turning vertically the centrifugal force actually forces, see right there, the middle and inner ring to stay within the center. So I added this fin so when it was going around, the wind would catch it, of course it's not doing a very good job, and flip the ring around, therefore having two sources of power for this particular gyroscope. This thing is massive. It took a very long time to build. And I'm just glad it's rotating now because it wasn't rotating during fatigue. And whether it proved the point or not, it was fun to make. It didn't cost very much to make though. 50 bucks probably for all the hardware, not including the uh, globe. Uh, the structure I rebuilt from an older project that someone else had made. And the bearing is just a indention in this plate of iron that I found out back. And this threaded rod I sharpened to a point. So it sits right in that little indentation and creates a very wonderful and very cheap bearing. That's about it. Here are the other projects. This one is amazing. I'm not going to go out in front because it's raining and I'll flip. It's a, about a 12 foot, 13 foot cross made out of gas cans. I'm pretty sure that's self explanatory. And right now the gas prices are about 309 the last time I checked. And that's it.